Marshtown Utility Commission assumed control of the wastewater system in 2014. City Council of Marshtown decided that it might be better operations for this wastewater department to be transferred to the utility system. There are a lot of synergies available when you have a water system and wastewater system operating together. Combined use of personnel, combined use of equipment. The Marshtown Utility Commission does one purpose and that is to provide utility service. And that brings that other component that the city utilities back under operation of a focused-minded utility system. The wastewater department is comprised of a treatment plant and, and versus a distribution system as a collection system. And that's where we receive water from the residences, commercial, and industrial industries throughout Marstown, and we transfer that water to the wastewater treatment plant. And in that process, that's where we clean the water up before we discharge it into the lake. The uh, plant in itself, there are several things that we monitor and control to ensure the quality of the water before it's discharged in, back into the rivers and streams. And that's to prevent any hazardous substance from being dumped into the, our system. Uh, we monitor that through our industrial pretreatment program and through our fats, oils, and grease. Marston Wastewater Department has two wastewater treatment plants. The uh, first one is Turkey Creek Wastewater Plant that has been located at that site since the early 1950s. The uh, second wastewater treatment plant has just started. That plant was started in October 2018 and that is the low end wastewater treatment plant. That plant was created to serve our industrial parks and the south side of Marstown for future growth. The earliest maps we have of the system are from back in 1910 and initially back in 1910 up and into the 50s. The system discharged straight into Turkey Creek or into Holston River which ultimately in 1940s, early 1940s, became Cherokee Lake and an outfall and a bunch of work was done in the system to increase capacity and extend that line out into the lake and discharge as it does today. The theory in wastewater treatment at that time was the secret to pollution is dilution. You simply discharged it straight into a large body of water. Today it's a whole lot different from that. We've gone from that era to primary treatment and then to secondary treatment as we do today with the wastewater treatment plant although we still use the same outfall system. They were making vast improvements laid upon that foundation that was constructed and put in place in 1910.